fine. Uh, we're either getting a button check, a lag test, or we're getting game one with a matchup that uh, on paper looks rough, but I've heard that Nagi's very good. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we're just going straight into it. Definitely into it. So, Seabrick versus the end zone Hellcat Nagi. Uh, this is not looking too good for Nagi. This is, if you told me to give you the prototypical example of this matchup, I would give you the first 20 seconds of this yes. match. Yes, yes, basically. <laughs> oh my. Basically. I don't know like, if a Pac Man is much better, but Incineroar is like. Not a good, oh, you no know, jump, too. Alright. Okay, this right, actually... <laughs> yeah, dude, like break. Break. That was a really cool beer. Oh my Um, it looks like we're a couple uh <laughs> he hasn't hit him once yet. Seabrick! Yeah, he he hasn't. That's he went for them scary, revenge. Though. Yeah. There yeah, it is, seven percent. That's all you needed. Okay, that's what he got the revenge. Dash attack though. Oh, I like the the option coverage. Didn't really manage to get it with the side B. <clears throat> I would say Battlefield, like, I really like it as Palutena. I'm not a Palu main, but sometimes I play the character for certain matchups. Um, including the Rob matchup. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I just think that Rob kind of whips my other characters. Yeah. Um, I heard, like, I play Cloud and Toon Link are my, my best two characters. And I heard that, uh... I heard that Cloud Rob's, like, not bad for Cloud. It might even be, like, close to even. Uh, I just, like, I wind up getting gimped every time. I just don't play the way that is, like, oh my god. That forward air, like 170. All right, looks like Nagi took a break. Uh, yeah, he was just he waiting on the to... angel platform. Take a deep he, breath. Yeah, he had to reset for sure. Like this kind of pressure here, where you're going like three stocks and you have not done any damage or anything like that to basically the enemy stock out. It's got to be stressful for sure. I would say that Incineroar is definitely a character that can do it. I mean, the guy can lift it 200% and he can kill you at 40. But uh, Seabrick is really not giving him the opportunity to, to set up any offense. Yeah, he's definitely not. Like, Nagi kind of has to create his own openings here for sure. Because Seabrick is really just closing up any open spaces with certain moves like neutral air. I want to say explosive flame to prevent Nagi from getting in any closer. Because Incineroar definitely wants to brawl. He's Ooh. not the type to... Ooh, that's a nice DI. Sorry, but uh, yeah. he's definitely the kind to thrall in your face. He wants to do as much damage and get your stock basically done. He's we just like... saw a really weird interaction on ledge. Uh, Nagi hit that neutral B going for the... Oh my god, he went all the way out there. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say Seabrick did the perfect option to, to beat out Incineroar neutral B and uh, just place a neutral air in like the exact perfect place to avoid getting hit. Um, and that, among 80 other things that match, led to a really decisive game one. Yeah, that was really, really decisive and really good. Like, damn. Someone in chat was really feeling me on my, my story about losing $5. It said, you're only $5. You're correct, man. Sometimes it feels like that was my last $5. Are we getting a character swap? Definitely getting a Sage swap, I would assume. Yeah, I kind of hope that Nagi goes back here. In case he's not feeling the incin specifically against Pal, because I mean, Incineroar can do it. The problem is that one, he has to get in first, and two, he has to kind of erase the stock quickly as possible, considering that Palu is Palu, and she just kind of yeah. In that yeah. kind of situation, Incineroar just had no ability to amount any kind of offense. Mm -hmm. Let's see where we're going, what we're doing. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Pac-Man. Uh, I would not. Still a good matchup for Palutena for sure. Ooh, we're we're sticking with it, baby. I think you know, he might have counterpicked into... I want to say Smashville, but I can't yeah. think that... Oh, Lilat. Lilat. I actually like don't love this stage as Palutena. I know a lot of Palus are totally fine with the stage. I just think the platform heights make it weird to... um. I would say juggle, but... As I say that, oh my god, the raw Nair. That's like the only cool thing you can do with Nair strings is Palutena. Is like, throw in a raw Nair, try to drag him back to the other side of the stage. Right. Ooh, that's a nice neutral air there to prevent getting caught by a Lolan Whip. It's actually really good. I forgot the name of that move, thanks for reminding me. No problem. I was like, I is it Dark Larry? Oh! Tried to down throw. Down here. Ooh. Oh, that would have been nice. Definitely on Lilat, that's more likely to happen than, uh, what was that? Was that a jab clank? The back throw won't kill. 
But uh, will the edge guard is the question. Uh, oh my god, the air dodge like coverage. Yeah. Wow, Seabrick, that's a really interesting B reverse. It's either wave bounce or wave land. Um, the B reverse, some kind of tricky movement, explosive flame to just cover your landing back on stage and then follow up after it. Right. Uh, ooh, he actually caught the long whip there. Ooh, it almost gets it down there. Yeah. That's a hard, uh, it's a hard recovery to deal with on the, like, edge guarding side, but if you can get that timing down on the, ooh, down smash. Yeah, Seabrick's doing that explosive flame to cover his landing back on stage. Yeah. Doesn't even dash back off top. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I was wondering where he was. I'm so sorry. I did. He just he blipped out of existence. Mm -hmm. I believe that's his. Uh, I don't know if he got three stars last game. God, my short term memory. He did not. He was almost three stars. He yeah. might get one stock. Yeah. This game for sure looking better than the last one. I mean, it was almost looking like a JV3 to be or JV, JV4 to be yeah, definitely. Nice cross cross back. And oh, I like that he shielded there instead of trying to go in. This is trolling, dude. Yeah, <laughs> what is this? Honestly. I mean, it's it's obviously a dash tackle kill off top. It's obviously a good play, but I, if anything, that's mental damage against me for sure. I don't know if Nagi's falling for it, but that hurts just getting neutral beat and side beat. Right, for sure. Like, how do I approach? Oh my god, down throw. Tries to go down throw near, doesn't get it. Yeah, Oh. The, uh, down smash there got canceled on my neutral air Oh! What was Four that? Tilt. That was like run that. cancel forward tilt through mm. the startup of explosive play. That's nice. It's honestly nice from Nagi. Also, this is anyone's game. Yeah, definitely for sure. For sure, right now, anyone's game. Seabrick can really easily take it to a. Uh... Oh my god, almost off the top as I'm saying it. Uh, he, can, he can really easily tack up all that percentage, but uh, so can Incineroar with one move. Yeah. One, maybe two, but ooh, nice I, double explosive flame there. So interesting. I've never seen it. Let's see. I would have expected. No way. Are you dead? Oh. He caught that's him with too. Yeah, with that Lolan whip. That's a nice catch from Nagi. Good adaptation, or at least learning how to avoid Seabrick's kind of a uh, kind of defensive front. Right. And Nagi's pushing the game three for sure, right here. I, without a shadow of a doubt, I know he's going to put up a fight. The question is, where will we take it? After the second half of that game, it, it could be anyone's at this point. <laughs> As I'm tripping over agree. my own word. I do agree. A quick glance at the rest of the bracket. It looks like uh, the Six Master, the winner of this will fight the Six Master. Hey. Uh, Blue Striker is also in winners round three. Crimson Onyx, the benefactor of a DQ, has ma has made his way to um, round three. And, uh, so, oh my god, another round three match winners quarters finals is Papa Wolf versus Sean. And uh, that is... Make it. Damn. That's a heartbreaker, actually. But uh, that's also, none of those guys have fought in tournament yet. They're all the benefits of DQ. Game three, Yoshi's! Yoshi's, hey. So fun. Hey, okay. Anyone can win right here for sure. This is, this is like, I know we said it before, but it's solidified right now that this is anyone's game here because both of these characters play well on this map, I feel. I want to say. can steal those easy stocks and Paulo's yeah. better than my flats for sure. Yeah. So, and on top of that, it's a very smaller um, blast zone radius. I think the smallest in the game. Or yeah, it's definitely the stage. smallest of the legal stages. Yeah. So. Smashville is probably the second. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds fun right now. Oh, are you dead? Oh okay, my god, that was so close. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, he tried to catch my ledge. Cross shots back. Uh, These down smashes aren't really working, but uh, I like the attempt. Yeah, <laughs> definitely would have taken the stock and the claw. The. I don't know when he moves in cinema can learn that's claw. Can he learn shadow claw? It didn't really look like a shadow. Uh, no, not sure. Did you just see that reverse down tilt? Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in, in ultimate compared to like Smash 4, they made rolls off of ledge a little worse. Oh my god, what's the follow up? Up tilt. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so back. rolls like don't give you the invincibility all the way to the end of the roll off ledge. 
So he got hit by the weird, like, reverse that you did off the top. You sure are. <laughs> yeah, he is. Long death animation. Into the cardboard. Rip. Let's see. We got a little elephant running around in the background. Oh my god, that down tilt. That down tilt's actually insane. It's one of the best down tilts in the game. Oh, yeah. almost hit sure. Nice work, Bang from Nagi. Ooh. Let's see if we can get to the tech chase. Ooh. I kind of hoped he'd caught in the alone whip with the revenge, for sure. Because that would have been very, very good for him. But I think Nagi's definitely playing better. I'm scared every time he gets hit with a stray yeah. move from Palutena. Yeah, cause for sure. <laughs> I, I do in this matchup among it. others, Palutena can mm -hmm. really put on the percentage. Right. But uh, a, a pretty okay lead. Are you dead off top? You're dead off the top. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Top <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it like people are surprised that that would have happened. Right. But, uh, oh my god, that was almost triple up here. That would have been so Ooh. cool. Okay, Pal is trying to whip something. Ooh. Nearly caused explosive point. Not good enough there. Yeah, I'm oh, it's so weird because I played Palu in four before I stopped playing it. Are you dead? Oh, forgot. No, Nair's not no, good no. anymore. It's not that good anymore. It's still one of the best in the game. Oh, gets that 21 percentage. Coast, uh, coast. Palu's jab used to be really, really good in Smash 4, and it's actually a lot worse in this game. Uh, it's like frame 8 or 9, uh, and it used to be able to really easy to do jab grab um, in Smash 4. But the. Wow. Dead? I'm Nagi's terrified. Yeah, Nagi! I'm... Nagi's going in, though. This is what it feels like, guys. You'll lose your $5 free to enter. <laughs> Down throw. Ooh, up there, up top. top. Yeah, boy. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves, because uh, we the, the first game almost looked like it could have been a JV4. And, uh, oh my god, this is where, Ooh, this is where dreams, dreams either come true or dreams get broken. Indeed. Like, anything Ooh, can get... definitely happen. This is getting a little zealous. <laughs> Considering Seabrook has a lot of rage right now, almost max rage, anything get killed really early. But at the same time, Insin could hit really, really hard without that much rage. Magi's playing a little more patient with his ledge trapping, and that dash right. attack will take it off the side. One young D to win That's, the set. It's, uh, hit me with hit me with his sponsors again. <laughs> What are Nagi's sponsors? Nagi's sponsors? The one and only Black Nebula. <laughs> there you go.